At least 16 people are receiving antiviral treatment after coming into close contact with bats affected by the weekend heatwave in southern Queensland. Up to 100,000 flying foxes may have died during the extreme weather. Josh Bavis reports it's causing a problem for residents and councils. In Boona, the stench of rotting carcasses hangs in the air. I couldn't describe a smell that bad uh, so continuously. Like death. That's what it smells like. It's bad. Council teams have so far cleaned up about 2,500 dead bats here and expect to collect more. When the heat wave peaked on the weekend, thousands of bats fell from the sky. We're all sitting around having lunch and it flew into the tree next to the back deck and took its last breath and screamed and fell on the deck in front of everybody. It wasn't an isolated case. The RSPCA says up to 100,000 flying foxes may have died at about 25 locations across southern Queensland, including the Lockyer Valley, Sunshine Coast and Western Brisbane. The heatwave, uh, you, you know, was a, basically a catastrophe for all the bat colonies. More than a dozen people are receiving antiviral treatment after being scratched by bats or coming into close contact with the animals during clean-up efforts. The council in Boona says it can't collect dead bats in this dense bush because it might cause more disruptions. This colony moved into the neighbourhood more than two years ago. But after the episode at the weekend, residents here simply want the colony of thousands of bats permanently moved. They've been very tolerant for a long number of years whilst this colony has been in place, but believe me, we're working positively to achieve an early outcome. Last month, local councils were given the power to move bats, but not cull them. You have to remember how vital flying foxes are. The RSPCA is now taking care of hundreds of orphaned bats. Josh Bavis, ABC News.